Hey there, I'm Celia, French freelance illustrator and full-time designer, and welcome in this new studio vlog. This week, draw with me a tattoo flash and a tiny polaroid plant with Posca, and then I'll show you how I'm using my sketchbooks. So, I'm not a tattoo artist, but I wanted to draw some tattoo design that people could adopt and get tattooed by their own tattoo artist. Um, this is something that I wanted to do uh, for a long time because I really love tattoo. Um, so I asked people on Instagram and they gave me some ideas. And one of them was Hand and Dagger. Um, so I started to draw, draw um, the tattoo flash with this ID on iPad. Um, and when I had finished to draw the tattoo with the hand and the dagger, uh, it feels a bit empty for me, so I add more plants and uh, details. After testing some gouache painting last week, I went back to Posca markers because this is one of my favorite medium and I drew some... So last week I already drew a, a tiny Polaroid style uh, plant illustration and um, this week I also draw another one uh, with the same technique and uh, keeping the same uh, format. So. I'm mimicking the size of a Polaroid and drawing Posca with Posca inside this specific size. Um, I'm using some masking tape to avoid uh, going out the delimitation and it gives the drawing a style more finished. I'm using sketchbook for quite a long time now and something that I, I saw is that uh, all artists are using sketchbook in a very specific way and a very personal way and I love to, to see how people are using them. Um, so this is something that I wanted to talk with you about and I'll be super interested to know how you are using your own sketchbooks. So my sketchbooks are not perfect because I like them to be some place for experimentation um, and where I allow myself to try and to fail. Um, sometimes I'm testing some new techniques, I'm learning how to draw some new uh, elements, details, um, poses, stuff like that. On my sketchbook I keep track of the days uh, to be able to look back and to understand my evolution and. Uh, to remember when I tried some specific techniques and when I, I uh, started to uh, discover some tests. I'm trying to have 
only one sketchbook at a time because it allows me to fill it more quickly uh, than if I had multiple sketchbooks. Um, before I, I was often starting five uh, sketchbooks at, at the same time and it was impossible to finish. Sometimes it took years to finish one sketchbook because I was drawing in so many. It was a bit discouraging back, back then. And now that I have only one sketch, sketchbook, I'm usually finishing it in four or five months, which is really motivating because each time I'm finishing a, a sketchbook and I start in, a new one, it's interesting for me. And I really love the feeling when I start or finish a sketchbook. So the objective for me was to uh, multiply the amount of time where I was able to finish and start a new sketchbook. The only downside that I encounter with this method is that sometimes I would like to draw, for example, with an alcohol-based marker, which work really better in a specific sketchbook, and then I would like to paint with another technique, for example, gouache or watercolor. In this case, I wait until I finish the ongoing sketchbook uh, or draw on a, or paint on a loose sheet and then glue it in my sketchbook. So, like I said, my sketchbooks are not uh, really pretty. Sometimes some pages are really well finished and polished and really Instagrammable, but most of the time my sketchbooks are just a place where uh, I'm testing some things, I'm doodling and um, thinking of my projects, so um, I'm sketching some ideas and it's not really aesthetic. But uh, this is the way I, I like the more using them, because um, if I want to do a really complete and final piece, I will take a good paper and uh, paint on it. So my sketchbooks are really made for experimentation. And something that I'm doing also uh, each time in a new sketchbook, um, so I'm not always using the same sketchbook. I really like the animal one with a really thick paper, but sometimes I'm using some paper blanks uh, which are really less thick, but I really like to draw with uh, alcohol-based marker, marker in them. So what I'm doing is that at the end of the sketchbook, I'm testing some techniques that I will use in the sketchbook. And that's it, that oh, I'm using my sketchbook. And I'll be super interesting to know how you are using your own sketchbook. So please let me know and thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next week in a new video. Bye!